Hi, welcome to the Unknown Secrets of SIVO Website Analysis. That's where we take your site and do what's called a search engine visitor optimization analysis about your site. How is it working? What could you do to be better? How does it convert? How do you get one of those analyses? You go to eWebStyle.com, fill out the free website analysis form on the uh, your right side, and hit submit. Um, it'll come to us. Um, if we choose it, we'll pull it out the head. If we choose it, um, we'll do a website analysis for you. Um, today, we have um, affordable wedding favors. Um, the web address is uh, weddingandbridalfavors.com. Um, this website was submitted to us this morning. And um, it's a great looking site. Um, but from what I understand, the, um, the uh, young lady who actually manages the site built it herself. So kudos, punch in the face to that. Um, but looking at the site, there are some things that I would uh, try to improve more. Um, let's start with your call to action. Questions, call us toll free. Mm -hmm. not, that, not that impactful. Um, I would go along something more along the lines that was related to what you're offering, you know. Um, questions about your bridal, blah blah blah. Let us call put us. together a bridal package yeah, for you. Exactly. Custom bridal package. Yeah, custom bridal packages or or anything like that to kind of you know tend to that emotional feeling that most brides are having around this time. Um, secondly, I'll talk about your navigation for a minute. Um, it's in a great location, um, but I would probably do some simple stuff like um, increase the font size because um, it looks like a tagline and you almost don't recognize that you can really click on those. Um, other than that, um, things look pretty good. Um, I would label this featured product instead of just having an image there with no sort of a tagline. And this is definitely something for a best man, beer mugs, beer glasses, right? And so this would be a great place for a, for a keyword. Best men gifts, which is one of the keywords that you're targeting, should go next to that image. And it probably should be a CSS where you're changing out the image. Exactly, it should know, be rotating. Features products. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, along that line, most people are used to seeing featured products and things of that nature um, on the right side, really. I would almost consider shifting it over and using this area over here for uh, navigation. One of the key things that we noticed with the site was the the, the navigation in regards to your products, the product navigation. Um, I'm understanding these are a series of categories on the site, bridal party gifts, groom party gifts, unique favors. And so with most e-commerce sites, there's also a list of a sub-navigation for the products to make it easier to navigate through the site. Scroll down some. Well, on the point, first looking at SEO had been done on the site. Um, we had some great content. If we go down some more um, affordable wedding favors, looking for affordable favors, um, affordable wedding favors here, it, I quickly realized that that was the phrase you were targeting. As I began reading the content, I did become a bit discouraged um, because um, it, it read like it was written um, for the search engines and not necessarily uh, for the bridal party who's looking for wedding favors. Um, you know, we receive gratification by providing the most stylish, affordable wedding favors. You know, browse our selection, including affordable wedding favors. Um, we tend to have affordable wedding favors. And so uh, it's a bit redundant, and, and we'll look at your, your info in a minute to figure out what your density is. You'd really, you want to have at least 250 words, or more is always better. But whatever word amount, word count that you have, your density should be between, you know, one and three percent. You really don't want to go over three percent density because Google calls it kind of keyword stuffing, and then it just really doesn't read that well. Um, but other than that, it looks great. Uh, great use of um, H1s and H2s, um, and great use of linking content throughout the site. So um, kudos to you on your on-page SEO. Um, but back to your categories. These should be listed. So, well, let's look at the info for the homepage first. So we're using SEO Quake. SEO Quake is a, um, a Firefox plugin that we use to help us to analyze what's going on on the back end of the site. And um, the title, title is okay. Um, affordable wedding favors, bridal favors, gifts for bridesmaids. I would probably change that to just affordable wedding favors for the homepage and leave it at that. Um, the more keywords you add into a title, you tend to dilute it and it loses its uh, 
the, the impact that it can have. We left the keywords blank. That's okay. I mean, you're targeting Google. Yahoo and Bing still place a little bit more weight on those keywords. So for the sake of just doing the SEO, I would include, include a few keywords there. The description is, um, is actually okay. Um, you could probably include some sort of CTA in there. I didn't see any powerful, impactful CTAs that you may want to include. So keeping it simple like that, um, excuse me, is, um, is actually okay. Looking at some other stuff, um, your PR is one that's actually <laughs> better than most, to be honest. Um, you do have a robots file, you have a sitemap file. Another way I know that some SEO has been done. Um, actually, as a matter of fact, I saw your footer. I saw the plugin you used to do that. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty um, confident in saying it probably generated the sitemap and the uh, robots file for you. 409 words on the page. Great amount of phrases. I mean, great amount of words. So if we look at your two-word phrases and three-word phrases, wedding favors, uh, affordable favors, uh, three words, affordable wedding favors, these are great words. I mean, the, the, the way you have them written is, is pretty well in the content. The problem is it's too many. The density for wedding favors is 5.38. That's, that's like two percentage, two and a half percentage points over three. Um, you're, you're, you're keyword spamming. You're stuffing too many keywords in the text. Google has recognized that. Um, affordable wedding favorites. Density is 6.6. .6. That's extremely high. I believe that uh, you very well may be getting banned. Or not necessarily banned, but not getting the ranking you probably deserve because of the keywords. Um, and usually keywords, um, that density is not that big of an issue to really get you banned. And so it made me think that you probably had some sort of a uh, of content issues. So let's go back to the site. So we began doing some more research. If we scroll down and look at this affordable content, thanks for visiting wedding and bridal flavors, flavors, favors, exclusive destination. This whole content, we can highlight it. Let's highlight it. And then let's go click on um, a, a category. So we clicked into a category called bridal party gifts. Mm -hmm. And we noticed that one, one first thing, the content remained highlighted. And that let us know that it's somehow your, your div is screwed up, it's framed, or probably some number of deals in the code um, that kept this content here. Or this simply could be the way this template is made and that your categories are a part of that plugin. And so the page never changed, just the categories did. Either way it goes, the URL changed. And therefore, Google sees it at a different page with the same exact content, duplicate content issue. If we go in deep further into like spot gifts, we scroll down, that same content is there again. So now we're three pages in and we have the exact same content. So that's, and that's, that's just the path we've taken. Um, we can go in a step further and click on the Terry Cloth. It's another product, um, decent looking product. And that same content is here again. So now we're four pages in and, and we have that same content. Um, I'm, I'm pretty confident in saying that that's the reason you're not getting the placement you like. And that's because um, you're keyword spamming and you're using duplicate content across the site. Looking at this product and looking at your URL string, um, first off, when all possible, you want your URL string to be um, keyword rich and, and easy to read. Um, you want permalinks on. I'm not sure how this WordPress plugin works with permalinks. I'm pretty sure it should um, somehow, but you know, this should say this whole trail bread or breadcrumb should be in our URL stream. It should go wedding and bridal favorites.com slash bridal party gifts slash spa gifts slash Terry cloth bath wraps. And to even make it more keyword rich, since you can get these initialed, personalized Terry Cloth bath wraps. Dot, you know, um, PHP or whatever it is. Um, if that, it's WordPress, it may just have a slash at the end. And that way, that URL stream becomes very keyword rich, easy to use, Google can rank it, and it's clear what you're showing rather than. Um, you know, the category ID stuff that's, that's affiliated with that shopping cart. Um, more importantly, looking at this product here, um, 
not only did it has also has that duplicate content issue, um, this is the way it's currently done. It doesn't relate this product to any wedding favors, or, or at least make it personalized. And so you should definitely consider adding the word personalized to all of your products that give you the option to have them personalized. Um, let's look at the Quake page for one of your products pages. Um, when we look at the title, it's the same title um, that was on the home page. And so um, all pages should have unique titles. Um, same thing here, no keywords. Um, description for this page should be unique to that particular product. Um, if we look at 556 words, that's because probably the original 409 and then the additional ones you added for that product. And so the density is still high, it's over 3%. Um, so you need to fix the, fix the, the your, that's a programming issue or an HTML issue with how the site was built to why that page is duplicating on each one. Um, and one thing I don't see here in any of the keywords um, is personalized. I mean, because that's the key to selling, you know, one of those on the web. Because you could go to Walmart or anywhere and buy one, but you have to order one if you want it personalized. And so I would definitely capitalize on that. I think um, I think that's good. Uh, anything we may be missing would be social. I mean, this is you know, I had a great wedding event. You know, I used my yeah. stuff from here. Yeah, I, I, I would definitely so, do some social, social heavy, some a lot of Facebook, a lot of Twitter. Um, scroll down some. I saw something that should probably go higher. You offer a newsletter, coupons, and things of that nature. That should be hired. And I really want to. Um, I would recommend a different sort of navigation. I see these links, but I'm thinking more of a category navigation. Then when you hover over it, you'll get flyout menus with the other internal category pages. So that way people can navigate through the site easier rather than scroll up, rather than um, clicking on the breadcrumbs to go back to where they came from. Yeah, so move your newsletter up, improve the CTA, Fix the content situation with the with the you know how it's displaying, and then consider rewriting it. Really, you need to remove some of those key phrases. I would make all of those changes, and then go into Webmaster Tools and resubmit the site. Um, yeah, fix this, maybe make that a featured image. Um, you know, improve your navigation, and I think I think you'll have a, a great foundation, and you already have a decent foundation. You have plenty of content, uh, great images. Um, a functional store, a, a nice design. So your foundation is already there. It's some of the techniques, and it could be a combination of the plugins and other things. So I would do that, and um, and you'd be on your way. That was a website analysis. Now, if you want a website analysis, um, go to eWebStyle.com, fill out the free webinar form, and uh, we'll be glad to do yours. Thank you.